Hi, this is Chris Young of AT Makers. A couple of weeks ago, we posted a tutorial on how to use personal voice in iOS. And we uncovered a bug that was in version 18 of iOS. It's supposed to be that if you select text and then tell it to speak the text, it will use your personal voice. And we couldn't get that to work. Since then, we verified that it's a bug unique to iOS 18. We've heard from other people who've used earlier versions of iOS and personal voice works okay. So it's just an 18 bug. It's already been reported to Apple and they say they'll forward it to the right people. Here's a, a demonstration of the bug and then a new workaround that we've recently discovered. Here's what my personal voice sounds like. This is Chris's personal voice. Here I've opened a Google document, selected all the text, and tried to speak it with personal voice. Contemplating Life Episode 76 of There Is Always More To Learn. Hi, this is Chris Young. Welcome to a special episode. Obviously that wasn't me. The workaround we had before was copying the text and pasting it into the live speech text box. Live speech seems to work okay with personal voice. Contemplating live episode 76, that there is always more to learn. Hi, this is Chris Young. Welcome to a special episode of Contemplating Life. Here we are in accessibility settings. We're gonna to go to spoken content. Now notice we had speak selection selected before, but this time we're going to add speak screen. We're going to be able to speak the entire screen with personal voice. We go into speak screen, turn that on, and then a new option called speech controller comes up. We're going to go into that and enable it as well. By the way, I don't know why you have to do both. I don't know how speech sc screen works without the speech controller, but that's the way it is. I'm not going to go into the options on the speech controller. For right now, we're just going to enable it. Now we're calling up a Google document that we're going to read. We're going to have to read the entire screen, not just the uh, selected text. Notice in the upper left corner, there's a gray square, and that's the speech controller. The way you activate it is you press a long press. So in switch control, we're going to go into tap and hold. And then when we let go, it's now ready to speak. We go into the speech controller and hit the play button. And here we go. Profits as forces of redemption. Profits as forces of redemption by Chris Young. In this week's class, we discussed redemption. Our homework was either to write about redemption, write a story of redemption. I may write a story later, but I want to reflect on redemption as guided by a prophet. So there we have it. You have the ability to read the entire screen. Not quite as useful as reading just the selected text, but at least it's another option. Stay tuned for new updates to see if this bug ever gets fixed and any other workarounds or features that we find for personal voice. That's all for now.